So what we're going to do here is we're going to put together an order for a customer. And in order to do that, we go to our product spreadsheet and we find the product we're looking for and we scroll down. Okay, I'm looking for this one here and I'm going to select three columns. The code, the item and the price. Now the price is calculated, it's based on the cost times the markup. So this is a calculated value and we have to be aware of that. I'm now going to copy it, which is Control C on a PC and Command C on a Mac. And I'm going to create a new worksheet, new workbook, for the spreadsheet. And I'm going to go down to row 15, 16 or 17. And I'm going to paste, but I'm going to paste special. And this is very important because if you remember, the value, the cost or the price is a calculated field. So if I just paste in straight without pasting special, then I'm going to get an error in that column. And let's just do that anyway. So we'll cancel this and we'll just paste. And then we'll enlarge this column here and we'll enlarge this column here. And you can see there's no price because the calculation doesn't exist. So if we come here and we do the same thing, we use paste special and we paste values and click OK. And now we've got the price. But the price isn't formatted, so we've still got to remember to go to this format the cells, format this as a number, currency, and that's there. And then we have to clear this column because that's the wrong one. We don't need that. So we've got our first item. And then we go to our next one, and let's go down and choose something else. Okay, this is the one I want. Copy. Workbook 2. Edit. Paste special. Values. Click OK. Okay, so I've now added a number of products. But all we've got is basically just a very rough starting point for our spreadsheet. So we've got to make sure that this is wide enough. And then we have to put our information at the top of the screen, and then we have to put the address of the client, client information, and then we have to total. And in order to total, what we're going to do here is we're going to do our calculation. And eventually, we're going to end up with something we can send out to the client. Now, a lot of businesses, probably yours, is already using something that you've put together or you've downloaded from the internet and you've modified it so that it's got your information and the customer information you just type in each different time and you keep duplicating this and using the same document over and over again and it does save you time but it's still a very labor-intensive process and the other problem is that each individual order or quote is a separate document that has to be filed accordingly and there's no linkage between one and the other so now let's look at putting together a quote using a FileMaker database. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a new quote. Let's press the Add button. We're going to choose whether it's a rental or a sale or combination. It's a sale. And the rental information disappears. We're going to choose the company, the client type, whether it's a company or an individual. We're now going to click into the company field and we're going to select the first letter of their name. And then we're going to type, start typing until we find the one we're looking for. We're going to click on that. And we can now click on the edit button and we can make sure that all the information is correct and updated if necessary. We can add people to that company. And with people added, we can select which of those two people we want to address this quote to. We can add quote items by just pressing the add items here, choosing the category, clicking on the item, choosing on the category, clicking on the item, choosing the category, filtering down to something, clicking on the item, choosing a different category, clicking on the item. As you as you add it, it's automatically highlighted and reversed out so you know you've added it. So 
one I want. Understand, they're filtered down to a subcategory. That's the only one there. And I'm now finished adding the items, and I go back, and here are my, here are my items. And if I want to view the quote, I just press that, and it's generated. Now that's been added everywhere, so I'm tracking the product usage, sales, and the, comp and the sales to the company without having to do any extra work whatsoever.